Today, we are going to share the progress on our very first tower garden crop. Uh, we're also going to talk about the difference between our fancy commercial version, which you might be able to see over there, and Stefan's boat-worthy proof-of-concept version. So, let's do it. All right, so uh, first, we're going to talk about our uh, fancy commercial one. So we bought it at the beginning of August, and that was when we started a bunch of seeds indoors. Just yes. in a little seedling. And then we also brought some plants from outside in. So we brought in some basil, mm -hmm. kale, yeah. rosemary, lavender, yeah. was, oh, and Swiss chard. Yeah. Um, lavender died. Uh, almost immediately. Yeah, almost immediately. Rosemary's doing good. I don't know why the lavender didn't do well. Kale caused a few problems, but we'll talk about that, <laughs> that in a bit. Um, Swiss chard did well. It's... Yeah, we've actually had a little, we've eaten some of that. So. Yeah, we've been harvesting it. So uh, the things that are really nice about it, um, things are growing really well. Uh, yeah, they are. Um, we think this is due, I mean, obviously it's a good product, but it gets a lot of light. It's in a nice open air space. We did at first have a few issues with the um, pH of the water. It kept on just, we have to keep on adding that pH down stuff. Yeah, and for some reason it kept increasing. Yeah, and so every day we'd have to put... Oh, well, not every day, but we had to... Uh, every time we checked it, it was uh, a little high, and we had to bring it down a little. But that only lasted, like, maybe a couple it weeks. It seems to have stabilized, so maybe it was leaching something out of the uh, roots of uh, plants or something. That we brought in. Yeah, or, uh, chain, you know, absorbing something, but it seems to have stabilized now. So that's good. Um, we've only added about three gallons of water since we... We have not done a complete switch out of the water, which I think the tower garden instructions say you're supposed to, but we have not done that yet. But we have added about three gallons of water. Yeah, approximately. So, um, and again, we have had some um, food. We've eaten some of the produce from it. We've had some lettuce. The Swiss chard, again, we brought that in, so it was a little bit further in advan uh, advanced. Basil. And some basil. And again, we brought the basil in from outdoors. It actually was not doing very well outdoors because the uh, Japanese beetles had hit it, but it has really come back. It's doing very well right now, so... Um, and the, some of the rosemary we've harvested. Yeah, and we've also harvested some of the rosemary. Now, this is the problem we had with what we brought in from outside, and we were pretty sure it was a kale. The kale had aphids on it. We didn't see any on. We knew we had kale and aphids in the garden, so which why we wanted to save some, but they seem to have... Yeah, and we checked, I, I mean, I thought we checked the plants fairly uh, thoroughly, but there must have been some aphids on the kale. Because we're going to share some footage, you'll see. They're all over but they don't seem to be touching the basil they don't seem to be touching the rosemary and there's a little bit on the swiss chard but they're all but they're all over everything else and we're actually like we have flowers and stuff on the tomatoes and the peppers and so we're hoping to get some of those we did spray them with some neem oil just today yeah so we'll see how that goes um that's the same stuff we used outside in the hops and everything for the japanese beetles it's supposed to be organic and safe so anyway if that doesn't work i guess we're gonna have to Probably scrap it and start over, which we Pretty really don't much. want to do, but... Do it if we have to. Um, you can see they're pretty bad from the footage. Oh, but we do have one more thing, um, the pump. And this is, I don't know, it's just luck of the draw or whatever, but our pump is going out. It was really, I mean, it was loud, but it wasn't excessively loud. It was what we expected, but it's recently gotten louder. And you think... Well, the pump, so the pump itself is from, it's like a pond aeration pump, something like that. It's, it's, it's not an expensive pump. So it seemed, it sounds like there's a bearing or something going in it and it still works, but it is, it's loud. It, it yeah. buzzes. Um, I'm calling, I'm going to see if it's under warranty. I sent uh, Target and people an email yesterday. They said to call or last week and they said to call. So I'm going to call next week and we'll see what happens. I'm hoping they will replace it under warranty. We'll let you know. Anyway, so that is the commercial tower guard. Now we're going to talk about the boatworthy proof of concept one that Stefan did. Um, you basically worked on that most of the summer, and you started plants, growing plants from seedling in about July. Probably in about July. We pretty much put the plants in at about the same time as the commercial one. Yeah. Um, it's had an ongoing problem with uh, where it loses a lot more water, so it leaks. There's a, a drippage bit. issue. There's a drippage issue, uh, so and the reservoir on it is a lot smaller. It's about a maybe a fifth of the size. Or less. Have you had to add more water to that? 
I have. I've been at. I've probably added five or six gallons of water to that one at least, and it probably needs doing again. So evaporation, last... it seems, and well, it just it just it, yeah, it's losing water to evaporation because it's running down the outside of it. And also, the plants are not doing quite as well, and we don't know if it's because I mean, so the one up here. Yeah, it has its own lights that we, the separate lights, lighting system, but it's up here in the bright day, you know, it kind of gets sun too. That one's down in the basement. Yeah, that one gets no la natural light. And the lights themselves that are down there are lower power than the ones up here. Um, so. We're concerned maybe we need to add more lights well, or. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the next thing we might try is maybe bring it up here. Bring it up here. To try it. All the plants down there are fine. They're just a little they are. smaller. They're not as they're not as far along. Um, they're smaller. And they're smaller. They're a little more spindly. And they're not doing as well. We also think, my mom suggested this, and I don't know if he's done it, that maybe they're getting too, we have it on the same wa water schedule, but the tube is a lot smaller. So maybe they're getting too much water, so maybe we have to lengthen the time between waterings. Because some of them die, like they seem like they start getting... Well, I don't think the water is as evenly distributed on that one because of the way that it, you know, it, it, this one has a lot more, it's a lot more controlled in the way it distributes the water. So I think there's, that one is, uh, is less even. So I think some parts of it dry out and some of it, maybe some parts they get too much water. So We don't know. But either way, um, basically what our synopsis is, is that... The clear winner is. Well, I mean, you haven't given up yet, but the commercial tower garden is obviously doing much better yeah, than that. Yeah, it's them. doing a lot better. But we have not given up. We're going to keep tweaking and playing, trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. Like he said, we may even end up bringing it up here because we do really want to have a tower garden on the boat when we get to that point. And the commercial model is just. I mean, I think even if we had a catamaran, it's just too big. I mean, I. Just, um. Po well, possibly. I don't know, but it. It. I would. I still want to figure out what's yeah. going on with the other one. So we are going to keep tweaking. Uh, we will give an up, another update in about two months or so and let you know what we've done. In the meantime, uh, let us know if you have any tips or tricks for uh, the proof of concept tar garden. Um, otherwise, we will see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.